Hey guys, how's it going? Omar here, back with a player review today. Today I'm gonna be talking about Dries Mertens, a very meta player this year. So let me give you guys a breakdown. Start off with guys the Kemsa. I use it with the Hunter, and that's what I suggest. You know, boost that pace up, boost that shot up. So let's get to it, guys. So to start off with guys the pace, 88 pace is the base stat, 93 acceleration, 83 spin speed, and that's a good breakdown you want. I do prefer to have a higher acceleration than sprint speed. Uh, so yeah, guys, the pace is good, uh, and you guys know, you know, he's got the high agility and boosted with the Kemsa, guys. He feels proper quick. Uh, you know, is a, if the pace isn't like top top tier like the Neymars and Bappes guys like that, but it's definitely good enough, you know, to get in behind. Uh, also, guys, you know, he's like a sort of skillful, agile player, so you know, getting out of skill moves, have that burst of acceleration, and the pace also allows him to be versatile. You can use him on the wing or in a central role, so pace is definitely a pro with this card. Then we have one of the shot guys, so 83 shooting. 87 positioning and guys his positioning mixed with his like uh, high attacking low defensive work rates uh, is definitely a pro on this card like I'll be playing some games right and you know I won't think too much of his performance and then I look back at the stats and you know he's got like a goal and two assists you know he's just one of those guys where you know even though you might not notice it but he just like you know really has an impact on the scorecard and you know really has a uh, you know plays an important factor in the attack you know he just manages to get assists goals uh you know even as positioning the guys like you know he has that poacher quality you know when uh, shots get deflected things like that you know he can score tap-ins and stuff so overall guys positioning and you know his high attacking work rate was definitely a pro other than that guys his shot he has a finesse shot trade with the 82 curve eight, uh, and uh, 81 long shot so guys his finesse shot was really really good uh you know even from like outside the box and stuff very reliable and as far as like his shot power goes 80 is usually on the lower side but honestly i didn't feel like you know his sh his shot power really lacked uh and as far as the finishing goes 86 finishing you know it was a good reliable finish not like top top tier or anything but uh, good enough and uh, you know other than I mean I wouldn't say good enough it's pretty good but you know again not top top tier he does also have the four star weak foot so you know that again you know when you're in certain situation you don't have to always think about getting it to his strong foot so that's definitely a pro too then we want to his passing as an 80 pass overall 83 vision 82 short pass so again guys really helps uh, you know with this card you can play him as like a center forward or a cam or even if you use him as a striker you could play him in a different role where like maybe he comes collect the ball and sort of looks for the other attacking players and stuff so passing again definitely a pro then we move on to his dribbling guys so he's got 90 dribble overall so if you guys know he's a very short person he's about 5 7 uh, <laughs> I'm not like that tall myself but yeah guys so 90 dribble overall 94 agility 91 dribble guys you know he feels really really solid on the ball you know he's got the close control too so he he does have the four star skill which is uh, you know very nice you could do most skill moves but even if you're not a big skiller guys just you know having that high agility and stuff you could do those drag backs and things like that and you know feels very nice responsive and quick uh you know with his acceleration and stuff so very solid and then we move on to his physicality guys so uh, this i'd say is the biggest con of this card so stamina wise it's not too bad if you use him up top but guys the strength is awful guys and i know there's a lot of other players like neymar who have low strength but he's i don't know neymar somewhere he's still like you don't really feel that lack of strength whereas with him i think because he's so short also he's just like anyone just gets close to him and you know he just like it seems like he gets scared or something and he just like falls or loses balance things like that so that's definitely like a big con with this card so what's my verdict of this card guys so he's going for around 20k and i guess like this is what his price is gonna be at just because of like the the value of uh, your uh, cards like because he's a high rated player and for sbcs and things uh and yeah guys i think he you know he's a solid player uh you know he's not too hard to link you know belgian and uh, Serie A, napoli also good players there so i hope you found this review useful please like and subscribe i'll see you all soon